All right, so I hope everyone's doing well. Another day, another ACME. Um, so why don't we start off with Mr. Abhishek. Yeah, I have one task in MR. It, one of the test is failing, I'm looking into it, but maybe the implementation can be looked upon by Dennis if that's fine or not. Sounds good. Okay, so we went over this one yesterday. Integrate the snapshot tool. So I believe yesterday you said you talked to Dennis about this as well. Yeah, Dennis suggested some iterations and all to try it. I have tried, but there is no success. Uh, I think there is a uh, check on the protocol for synthetic write data because of which the data is failing as we are trying to write with a common URL. So I'll discuss with Dennis on this, what I am getting, uh, what is happening wrong in my local system. So maybe if implementation or something can be changed. I want I want to have a call with Dennis today, maybe after the stand-up on this. Sounds good. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I'll, I'll start. Oh. Uh, I thought... <coughs> I thought mnemonics would be okay because you're not exposing things. Right. Or what's what's sort of the need to re remove the mnemonic import? No, we're going to keep the import. The problem is, is if you put it on the command line, it will keep in the history, your command line history, which will, is not a good thing. So we just need to make it an input parameter um, that's typed in after you execute the command. So uh, do I need to remove the met, uh, the CLI methods which are importing these things, mnemonic and private key, or is it some parameter which I have? No, um, I'll put a little bit more detail in the in the tasks. Um, basically what you need to do is just make them command line input. So you just do a um, execute the command and then, then have the user input, um, input their input on the terminal without putting it on the command line. So. so instead of passing it as an argument in the command line, the user puts it in like it's a password based on some, something like that. Yeah, something like okay. that, yeah. It should be a prompt to use that to put it. OK. Cool, cool, cool. I like that. All right, Mr. Dennis. <coughs> so this is the last RC1 task, which we just yeah, yesterday. So I promise I'll finish that one today. I keep getting distracted with other stuff. So yesterday I worked the uh, majority on uh, reviewing Paul's code and running it and executing or generated all the blocks through the end of the blockchain and dumped it out to the object file. So that's good. Um, so um, I didn't know how to handle it with the JIRA automation. So I just moved everything to the validation after I reviewed it. So That makes sense. Yeah, if it's yeah. not, so, if it's not so, connected. GitLab, it's, you can move it manually. Um, determine max transactions per block. So we also discussed creating that document that is it sort of, this is just kind of related, that outlines the minimum TPS um, we should look for. So this will help. So this says it's merge. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure why that's merged. And I don't yeah. know the automation oh, thing. Yeah. Okay. And then you reviewed Paul's tasks. So those are uh, Dennis. I oh, I forgot to assign it to you, but I did. Uh, well, when we get to my tasks, you actually did a review of one other Jira that just wasn't tracked. Yeah, was that the one that was okay? Yeah, All right. Yeah. Oh, right, so we can create a ticket for that. No, no, it, we have a ticket. And I, oh, you have it. Oh, I just yeah, what's well, on the board? So. It's uh, 1762. We just put Dennis's name on it. Okay, sounds good. Um, Ethan, you're doing some database stuff, which we talked about yesterday. Okay. And so. yesterday was eaten by bugs so that's, i did not review any mrs yesterday because of 
surprising. Well, yeah. They got eaten uh, by bugs. Yes. Um, also, I triaged a whole bunch of bugs. Um, there were ones that... There are a number of them that were boiled down to basically the synthetic transaction fails, and if you want to see the status, you have to do something to see the status of the synthetic transaction. Um, there were a number of them that I... So those were those were closed as not as won't fix. And there are a number of them that I could not reproduce, and I'm fairly sure that the apparent bug is due to a uh, misunderstanding. So those ones I also closed, but if they they can be reopened if there does turn out to be a bug, but I put comments explaining why I think it's, you know, my, my, how, I re how I tried to reproduce it and why I think it's not a bug. Okay. And I will add details to that bug task. And one thing is that the CLI does not, and I, I have a task to, to change this, but a lot of the CLI subcommands don't just silently ignore if you put extra parameters. Mm -hmm. So you can just put a whole, you know, like the, I think the create key page, you can put as many parameters as you want after it, and it only pays any attention to the first one. So in general, oh, for when you're using this, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, when you're using a CLI command, yeah, I, I do want to fix to, to make it so that it will tell you if you're if you're adding extra arguments. But in general, I think you need to be careful to look at the usage and see if um, see if it does take extra parameters because things like the uh, the way you are trying to disable. Uh, like lock the update account off by passing the JSON payload. Passing yeah. the JSON payload only works for TX execute. It does not work for page lock. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so what's sort of the resolution of that? Uh, I created a bug saying the CLI should tell you when you're passing in arguments that it's not going to use. Um, the resolution to the lock thing is that you, you need to use TX execute. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay, cool. Um, and these two tasks are ready to be reviewed. Um, yeah, Dennis reviewed a bunch of them, a bunch of the tasks I MRs I had yesterday. Um, those ones, there's one of them or two that might be ready, but a number of them. I, there are merge conflicts since all the other stuff that's been merged that I need to resolve. Sounds good. So, um, and I think there were some things in Telegram that you needed to answer potentially. I guess, Paul, it looks like maybe you answered that. Um, okay. So, yeah, Ethan, if you could just check, that would be great. Uh, Mr. Jotton, I believe this was in review yesterday. Um, any comments? Yeah, so the implementation for this task has been long complete, but uh, it changes the basic directory structure. So I think uh, it is being scrutinized and it is better this way. So even Ethan took a look at it, gave some comments. I have addressed all the comments and maybe Today we can discuss Dennis, me, and Ethan on that. Cool. Yeah, why don't you just put something in the calendar? Uh, this is not passing. Uh, I think one one validation script is failing, but uh, implementation is mostly complete. So yeah, I okay. think validate Docker is failing or something like that. Go validate Docker. Validate simply, yeah. Yeah. So I look into it. But the implementation is complete. Great. I also created a draft MR for 1602. Okay. So there are some errors in the CI. If I'm able to fix it today, I'll move it to review. 
Sounds perfect. All right. Thank you, sir. Mr. Paul Snow. So, Dennis, you reviewed these, so they're in validation. I think they can be moved to done. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. So I just, put them, I just slid them over one slot. Okay. So... Okay. Oh, awesome. So, Paul, you finished this design. This, I guess, needs to be reviewed by Ethan and Dennis, the solution that you have here. I don't know if it's been reviewed or not. I left a comment, a couple of comments yeah, at the bottom. Comment as well. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll... My fault. I'll go look at it. What's LDA? Light data account. Okay, that's what I figured. All right. And this is in progress until it's we do the snapshot. So Qu Quentin and I are going to work on the data extraction uh so we're gonna spin up a server this uh i'd like to get that done this week um and then we have the payout structure so that's good okay how's this task going to look Pablo here Uh, yeah, so everything's going fine. Just as Ethan mentioned, uh, yeah, we have this issue with general issue with uh, adding additional parameters to uh, any CLI command. So now trying to implement it in the best way, maybe it can be then reused for other parts. So what, what, what sort of left in this task to accomplish? Um, sort of just uh, finish the implementation. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So yeah, if you have any questions, just reach out on Discord. Uh, yes. Last but not least, Mr. Sander. So you're helping. Oh, uh, Katrina just made a good point that I've stopped. Well, let me try to reshare. I've, okay. All right. So these are in progress. Um, okay. So yeah, I guess when you're when you're done with these, um, Sander. You can just move them to done, uh, unless you think they need to be reviewed by somebody. Okay. Yeah, I um, uh, worked my way around the uh, problem I had the other night, um, but I will uh, post my findings in the ticket and have it reviewed to see if it's uh, 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 yeah, if it's what we want. Um, I will update the ticket with my findings tonight. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. All right. Um, I will. Does anyone have any questions or comments before I stop sharing? All right. Let's see, is there anyone from the community we have here? I don't see anybody. I don't see any new faces. <clears throat> All right, so very good. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Do, do you want to say anything else since it's recorded? Uh, anything else? 
Uh, yes. Where we are, kind of broader picture than just our Jiras. Um, well, I guess uh, we're getting our, our code audited right now. So uh, that's exciting. Um, we have a Telegram chat. So if people are curious uh, about the progress, just let me know. Um, what else is going on? Just doing a lot of QA testing. Um, and uh, I'm publishing, I sent this to, I think, I don't know if I sent this to Paul or other people, but I've created a document outlining all the, well, the majority of the CLI commands. There's, there's kind of an infinite amount of commands that can exist. Um, so I'll send that over. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Jay, you got anything else you'd want to bring up that's going on? Are we are we still on target for a code freeze on the 18th? Yeah. That's fantastic. So once the code code freeze occurs, then we we are putting our first release candidate on the test net. And it'll be uh, basically developing against it is going to be pretty assured that that's the platform that will exist when we activate. So that means you can prepare your applications for execution. And um, and then unless uh, there's some huge security issue with something we're doing. Uh, even if there is an update, it won't. It, it'll. It'll. All, your code will just work. Um, anything else? It, for anybody that's interested, the candidate uh, governance docs are out, um, and I'll be glad to share a link with anybody that's interested. Yes, <clears throat> I'll read those. Yes, it would actually be great to get some some engineering some perspective from the engineers on uh, certain aspects that yeah it, it would be particularly nice to if you guys let us know if we've put anything in the governance that's uh, you know impossible to implement i don't think we've repealed gravity or anything like that but never know yeah that's a yeah all right well, that sounds good um i have a quick question for mr j smith What's sort of the latest and greatest with PegNet? I am trying to get a group to build that and to do it on their own dime. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the hard part. It sounds it sounds like a challenge. Yeah, um, I think I haven't talked into it. I just gotta get them started. Cool. Well, we might ought to have a follow up meeting and find out what what we need to do to make it happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have an initial design document and, that we've given that accounts for what Accumulate can do. Uh, the the main the main features there are uh, the use of validators to create a curated state for the pegnet, which means that uh, it's much easier to develop and and maintain the the code and it's much easier for users to see and understand it and uh also the conversion of uh tokens that require you know special software to understand to tokens issued out of the protocol is a big one that's a big win uh yeah. so basically gives the pegnet uh, mobile wallets and um, computer wallets. So basically, any wallet that can handle accumulate will handle those tokens too. So those are all right. features. Of the update. Wunderbar. Okay. I guess um, Kat Katrina, Paul, Ethan. I think we have a meeting, so we can just join that after this. All right. Thank you, everyone. And I got it. I'll be sure.